Hey guys, and welcome back to the third installment of my advanced tips and tricks videos. Today we will cover 10 advanced building and editing tips and tricks. You may have seen some of these tips and tricks before, but I can guarantee you that you'll leave the video learning something new, especially towards the end when I cover one of the hardest tips and tricks that I've put in any of my videos so far. So be sure to watch until the end, as I think all of these tips and tricks will definitely help you and help take your gameplay to the next level. For each clip, I'll show what the trick is, why it works, how to do it, and then an in-game example. We have a lot to cover, so I'll just shut up and start off with the first trick, which I found from Loot Boy Scram, who is a professional Fortnite player from Denmark. This is a situational trick to outplay opponents who have high ground as you're building up. Usually you'd place a cone and edit through to continue on for height, but your opponent who's already above you will just keep building and you really have no opportunity to get a shot off. Instead, after you place the cone, edit the two right pieces and then place a wall in front of your opponent's face and to the side. Jump and then your momentum will carry you into the wall which you just placed. Then you can place a floor and edit through for an easy kill on your opponent. The wall you placed in front of them will block them from building up and now you can turn the bad position you were in into an opportunity for a kill instead of just wasting more mats to build fight. To your opponent, they will see your cone and wait for you to edit through, but your wall blocks them from building up after you do the cone edit, and then your quick edit after that will take them off guard. This is the original clip which I saw from Scram where he pulls off the trick very cleanly. Go on edge, go on edge. Second trick is an edit trick I found from Branded FN. When you have an opponent in your 1x1 with a ramp in front of you, it's gotten much harder to get the kill now as most people expect the ramp edit and the shotgun delay on pulling out your pump will just leave you with your pants down. To catch them off guard, edit the ramp into a spiral stairs like this. Make sure you're high up on the lower part of the stairwell too. Then reset the edit and you'll phase through to the other side of the ramp in your opponent's face. From your opponent's perspective, all they can see is the flat part of the stairwell in front of them and they lose vision of where you are on it. Then when you edit through, they'll have no clue where you are or how you got there while you secure an easy kill. This edit is actually harder than it looks, so make sure you practice it. You have to start at the top of one corner, then make a U shape with your edit on the ramp. This is what your edit should look like from outside the box. I know some of you are about to comment, I did this in season 2, but Branded FN is the first person I've seen with proof of doing it in the past, so I'm giving credit to him. Third trick is another cheeky way to kill opponents on the other side of your ramp inside your box. For this trick you'll need a clinger though. Once inside the box, throw the clinger at the top of the ramp, then edit the ramp the other way like this, and you'll see the clinger falls off the top of the ramp on your side, but it's caught on the bottom of the ramp on the other side. So I think you guys can see where I'm going with this. Now every time you box an opponent but don't have traps and do have clingers, you don't have to risk editing through. You can throw the clinger, sit back and relax and watch your opponent explode when they probably thought you were committing suicide when you originally threw it. Make sure you practice this edit as well as it's not that hard to do but it can be difficult when you have the pressure of a clinger grenade ready to murder you in your face. I originally saw this trick from reddit user the Gaming Night 4 For the fourth trick, I want to let those of you who don't already use scroll wheel to reset their edits to finally learn it. We first need to go into our settings and down to the miscellaneous section and then to building edit. Change your secondary keybind to mouse scroll wheel up or down, so I have mine as scroll wheel down. Then go up a little to the building settings section and change reset building edit secondary bind to the same thing. So this is also on scroll wheel down for me. Now after you edit something normally, you can just look at the wall or floor or ramp and scroll down once to start editing and reset it instantly. Then scroll down again to confirm it. So instead of pressing your edit keybind, then resetting the edit which is normally right click and then pressing your edit keybind again, you can just scroll down twice or in my case I just scroll once really hard and it instantly resets your edits. The clip is from my Twitch stream when I got a couple of nice kills using it in Tilted. So a shameless plug, but I do stream on Twitch now at It's Jarian. I do squad games, Turtle Wars, and Storm Wars with viewers, so make sure to follow my channel and check out my schedule, which I have in the description of this video. Anyways, you can see how ridiculously broken the scroll wheel edit is. I get shots off without my opponent being able to even have a second to think. This works for walls, ramps, cones, and floors, so you can use it to your advantage in whichever way you want, but I'm telling you, if you don't have it enabled right now, Go into your settings and change it. It's life changing. 
Oh my god, boys. Next up is a really unique way to surprise your opponent on low ground. I showed in one of my other advanced building tips and tricks videos that when you're above someone, you can cone and floor them, then drop down on a ramp next to them to get a shot off. Notice though that you have to be above them and behind them so you can drop down next to them. Well, what about when we're in front of them and above them? What we can do is try two things. The more advanced case is to rotate our ramp twice, then jump down onto it and surprise your opponent who will expect you to just jump on top of their cone. This is hard because you have to make sure that you rotate your ramp correctly or you'll just fall off high ground. And since you barely ever rotate your ramp in game, you want to practice rotating twice or 180 degrees. I saw this trick from Zexro here. We can also do something a little easier, but it's not as quick. Instead of rotating our ramps twice, just jump and do a 180 with your character, then place the ramp next to them. It's easier than rotating your ramp, but you have to realign your crosshair after doing the 180 to place the ramp, so it's up to you to do what you want and what you're comfortable with. We can see Ghost Nude use this trick here. Since we're on the topic of ramp rotations and placing ramps while doing 180s, our sixth trick is a 200 IQ ramp trick from Shade. In the first advanced building tips and tricks videos, I showed how to preemptively place a floor so you can edit through to cone opponents. And in the most recent advanced tips and tricks video, I showed how to preemptively place a wall so you can edit through and cone opponents. Shay's trick is a preemptive ramp placement. So to do it, you can either rotate your ramp twice or do a 180 like in the last trick. After your opponent runs up on the ramp, you can edit down and kill them. From their perspective, they think it's their ramp as their turbo building, but it's already been placed before they did. You can also place a ramp and then jump up and box them in, which works pretty well. Seventh trick is a sick way to get a shot off on an opponent from low ground. A new way to trick them is to edit the floor piece behind you. Then as you re-edit it, you'll face through the front of the floor and you can get a quick shot off in their mouth. Your opponent sees you edit and re-edit, but they don't expect you to just come out of the floor and phase through it. You can see that you're phasing through it when the floor is blinking yellow and you can shoot through it. Eighth trick is how you and your teammate can never take fall damage again. With the new flint knock pistol, you can actually get knocked back in the opposite direction you shoot. So if you're carrying one while you're on high ground, you can time it and angle it so right as you're about to hit the ground, you can knock yourself up and over to negate the momentum and then not take any fall damage. A reddit user named Scratch TV also found that you can do this to negate your teammates fall damage if you aim it as they're falling near you. Now you can either save your teammates or you can just purposely shoot them off your builds to kill them. Second to last trick is a way to get a cone off on someone who ramps and floors above you. So normally when someone ramps and floors above you, you can't place a cone. But with this trick, you just do a normal scissor jump and then place a cone and catch yourself. It's pretty simple and effective to catch your opponents ramping over you, but there's actually a ton more advanced variations to do it. I believe the original was found by Atlantis Kejser. First variation is to do our trick, then double ramp up in the same direction to get high ground. This is a good and safe strategy to take height, but you don't get an opportunity to take a shot or damage your opponent. Second variation is after you do the trick, land on a floor and then run under their ramp and box them in and go for the trap play. This is a high risk, high reward play because they can always edit through their ramp to get a shot on you, but with traps on both walls, you're pretty much guaranteed a kill. Third variation is to place a wall after you scissor jump and cone, then edit the wall and get a shot off when they're not expecting it. This is another safer variation of the trick as you can just edit and re-edit to block any return fire and you can get some damage off as well. Last variation is after you do the cone edit, place a wall then land on the bottom of a ramp facing their cone. Then you can walk up the ramp and edit the cone to get an unexpected angle on them from the top. This is my personal favorite variation of the method as it's safe and your opponents won't expect you to edit through your cone that you just placed as they kind of scramble looking where to go. For the 10th and final trick, we'll learn a protected version of the reverse 90s. The base version of this was found from JYT who came up with the reverse jump which you've seen from Martos. As you scissor ramp up, you can turn around and place two walls and use the wall on the side to ramp off of and go the other way. This is a solid trick, but you don't gain any height from it. Then Martos showed a trick by Pikachu, which is similar and you can see you go straight into 90s. This is good because you gain height and you can fake out your enemy, but the problem is you're not protected from above or in front, which is where the enemy will be and they could easily just shoot and break down your builds. The trick I found was from a reddit user named Yinky. It's a completely protected reverse jump 90s. As we can see here, this is probably the hardest trick that I've ever shown on my channel. So to break it down, you scissor ramp up and do as you would for the normal reverse 90s. So cone ahead 
and then as you edit the cone, you want to cone the edited cone, and then cone to the side of that. So I know it sounds a little confusing, but just watch how I do it. After that, place three walls, starting with one in front of the ramp on top of you, and then all the way to your left. Then jump over, place a ramp, and edit through the cone. So this is the hardest part, as this edit is really hard to pull off. You want to re-edit the cone, and then edit the corner in front all at the same time. After that, you can then wall your cone and 90 up. So again, this is by far the hardest trick that I've ever attempted, so don't expect to get it on the first try, or even on like the 40th or 50th try. As we can see, you're now completely protected the entire time from above and in front, so make sure you go and practice the edit and re-edit, as you'll only do it by resetting but not confirming the edit, and then editing the other corner. So these were 10 advanced building and editing tips and tricks. If you enjoyed this video or learned something new, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and to turn on post notifications. This video shoutouts go to XXEnisXX, EthanSmith768, AES Throat, Alex30, PromethiQ, Sweaty, Slurp, Astralix, Kevin, T3X, Cash, Azula, Project Baby, Angel Bustamante, Skirshi, AJ Kaidi, and Ezzy the F up. Otherwise, that's it from me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.